In this video I would like to talk through the advantages that either multiple sourcing or single sourcing in our company can offer us. So let's imagine that this is our company that we have just made. Now we need some supplies for our company and we are deciding whether we will have only one supplier or we will have many of them. Ok, so let's take a look on the advantages that both of these policies can offer us. If we begin with multiple sourcing, we can imagine, ok, we have many companies that are going to source for us. This means that we are going to avoid supplier dependence. Avoid supplier dependence. Because thanks to this, thanks to that we are cooperating with many firms, many companies, if one of them goes bankrupt, we are not endangered because we, ha we can move our needs to other companies and solve it this way. On the other hand, if we have single sourcing advantages, one relationship to manage means that we can save some costs. We know that every relationship our company has to keep have some costs in matters of time, in matters of money, so thanks to single sourcing we can save these costs. If we take a look at, on a bargaining, well, if we have many suppliers, we can make some bargaining between them. So we have got some leverage. You take a look on one guy, okay, and tell him, I have got many other guys who can give me the same supply. Don't you want to give me a lower price so that I will be buy from you and not from the others? This is called the leverage that we can have on our sources to, to basically maintain the low prices. On the other hand, if you have single sourcing, there is another significant advantage, and that is greater commitment. If you are cooperating just with one company over some sustained period of time, of course this company and the managers here, we have some commitment to our own company, which can lead maybe to low prices as well. If we move, insurance against disrupted supply. That is something we have already talked about, but it is very, very important. If our supply can get disrupted, so one or two companies go bankrupt, we are not endangered thanks to our multiple sources. On the other hand, if we have only single source, there is another advantage. We have got clear responsibilities. Clear responsibilities. This means that if some problem occurs in our supply chain, we will know who has made it. We do not have that many players and that many actors, so we can clearly point our finger at someone, okay, this is your fault that you should solve the problem. Well, let's move on. We have, if we have many suppliers, we do not have any limit to capacity of a single supplier. So that maybe the, the single one, the, in our case the yellow guy, has got only some limited capacities. If we have got many of them, we are not just limited to this. So we would like to expand our production. We can rely on many suppliers. On the other hand, if we have got only single supplier, there is the advantage of simplified monitoring. Simplified monitoring. This means that we can better control our supply. We do not have that many sources that we have to overlook. Well, if we move on, if there are multiple sources, and maybe maybe our company is now, let's imagine that it is very successful. If we have multiple sources, we will create some stimulus to competition. Stimulus to competition. These companies will be somehow naturally forced to compete between themselves to supply for us, because maybe we will be very attractive for them. On the other hand, if we have only single sourcing, we will have cheaper tooling costs. This is a little bit tricky concept, but imagine that there is a one guy, one company, one manager. This means that we do not have to spend so much time and money with a communication. And finally, if we have, and this is maybe the most significant point, if we have multiple sources, there will be greater incentive for innovation or greater motivation for innovation. Because as we have mentioned, these companies are going to compete between themselves and this will mean that they will be somehow motivated to be better than the others because of course competition motivates for innovation. And if we think about it a little bit more deeply, what on the other hand can be single sourcing advantage in this case? Well, 
the, here the the single sourcing is a little bit in a disadvantage because it can offer us only simplified scheduling simplified scheduling so let's let's get one point back and think about the innovation if there are several suppliers they will want to save some cost so maybe uh, they will uh, develop a new just in time management or they will be able to offer us better services which we will be more reliable okay so these were the advantages of either multiple sourcing or single sourcing that our company can undertake